uh, educational video to show you what a prairie dog does when she goes in heat and she's upset. I don't like being handled and I'm trying to help Ivy through it. She is definitely mad. So that's what she's been doing every time I try to get her out of the pen or out of the cage rather. So if you have a prairie dog that is in heat, um, they usually don't go through uh, sexual maturity until they are two years old or after they're two years old. But in some rare cases, a female prairie dog, you know, can go into heat at one years old. Y'all have seen other videos of Ivy where she's calm, she's lovable, she's playful. This is not normal behavior. She is not sick. Um, we've ruled out everything else, and I consulted with a couple of experts. And her um, no-no square is what I call it. Her nether region is looks like it's turned inside out, and her anal glands are protruding, and her uh, no-no is very red. There's no blood or anything. Um, she's putting off a little bit of an odor, just like they would when they expel their scent, you know, secretions of their scent glands. So other than that, uh, <clears throat> that's usually a good indication. Um, she bit me on my wrist right here pretty good. Um, you can't really see it because of my tattoo. Out of nowhere, it wasn't provoked. Um, she has gotten worse since Friday and today is Sunday she's got a few more days left and I'll put her back in with her sister Lola right now she is acting very aggressive towards Lola and since Lola is tinier than her a bite could harm her so I'm keeping her in the bottom part of my critter nation cage um, for the next couple of days and I have a nest cam behind me that will monitor her while I'm at work and I've gotten water in her own food bottle and things like that and plenty of hay and I've got her a burrow box, which she is staying in that right now. She is in that box right there. Ivy. Ivy. But yeah, she's not happy at all. But I just have her in the lower section cut off from you know, Lola until we figure out what's going on with her. So, um, just wanted to do this as educational in case your prairie dog is acting like that. They'll nest continuously. They'll burrow in the hay. They'll bite without warning. Um, they start making chattering and chirping noises, almost like they're trying to start a Yahoo, but it, you know, doesn't go full Yahoo. Um, that sound that you hear her making and that chattering, that is full blown heat. Um, if they're doing it all of a sudden now if they've always done it then that's just how they are but if they do it out of the blue like that and then check their bottom um, and make sure there's no blood or anything they don't do like dogs so there should not be any blood if there is you need to contact a vet because it's probably a urinary tract infection or something of that nature make sure they're eating and drinking and keep them as comfortable as possible and if you let them out let them out on their own and make sure you have a blanket ready in case you have to grab him or her in a hurry um, and put her up and protect your feet and wear thick clothing um, so those are just some tips on prairie dog heat uh, they usually don't go into it this late in the season but for some reason she is I know it's rare um, as we're in the first week of April but it's not entirely impossible because they have babies all the way up until the end of May. So, um, 
it's usually they go through it you know a little bit earlier like december through i think march so she's pretty much at the cutoff but um it only lasts three to five days depending on the severity of it being this is her first it's probably going to last you know closer to five days because we're already in day three so um i hope this helps somebody out there um make you feel better it's nothing you did there's nothing you can do uh, just keep them comfortable and keep them calm. Uh, don't stress them out. Don't try to get them out and love on them and force yourself on them and, you know, isolate them away from your other animals until it passes. And then you two will be back to being best buds as soon as it's over. It's just like having a period for us humans. It's exactly the same PMS. I'm just saying. Uh, this has been a video from Prairie Dog Care. Make sure you hit like, share, and uh, subscribe. And if you uh, have any questions, just hit me up. And if you want more information, join us at Prairie Dog Parents Facebook group. Uh, just make sure you join the right one and not the preschool. But uh, happy Easter, everybody.